Hey guys, it's me again. I'm back here with another video this time. Uh, there will still be a bit of bed wars in this video, but here, as you can see, we have a still packaged box of, you guessed it, a blue Yeti right there, as you can see. Now what we're gonna do today is we are going to unbox this blue Yeti. I know, right? Crazy. Okay, crazy idea. Now, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I didn't want to announce in my video that I was, like, that I had a Blue Yeti or something like that. I just thought, you know, I I'd get some extra views out of it or something like that. I don't know. I just thought that this would be cool. And uh, if I didn't film it, like, I would never be able to film it again. So, there you go. All right. <clears throat> so, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take some of the some of the tape off yeah and as you can see it opens up very nicely like that you can just slide it out of the box like that it's beautiful so we don't need this anymore it's just useless so we can just throw that away now, we're left with a box. Inside this box is the one and only Blue Yeti. In order to retrieve that Blue Yeti, we need to open the box as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo a couple stickers, such as this one here. And go ahead and undo that. Fun fact, I had the fan off right now and it's very hot. And I'm recording this with video, the camera audio, the camera microphone. So I thought I'd turn on the fan so that there's not as much background noise, but I'm starting to regret that decision because I'm feeling very, very sweaty in this room right now. As you can see, our sticker has come right off, right off of where it came from before. And now, we can put this away as well. Now, with this box, we can turn it around. Here you can see all the Yetis. Components, parts, outer layer, structure, and what they do. But, what we want to do is we want to take out the Yeti itself. So there's a little compartment here. That we're supposed to take it out, so if we can just remove the flap. We can then open this far out. I just like broke the box full on. We can then. Okay, uh, so little editor's note. So I'm kind of editing the video right now. And what I've realized is that my phone actually did not capture the entire video that I thought I recorded. So. I thought I recorded 12 minutes of me like fully unboxing the Yeti, uh, but it only recorded up to 6 minutes, so basically what happened was I opened up the box, I got the Yeti out, I uh, took it out of the wrapping and I like um, showed the instructions and whatever, so you didn't really miss out on much, but I don't know, I'm just kind of... Uh, Kind of surprised that uh, my phone didn't capture everything. I thought it uh, it did, and uh, it turns out it didn't for some reason. Uh, but as you can see, I have successfully opened up the Blue Yeti. I'm using it to record uh, my audio for right now, uh, which is why it may sound a little bit better than the camera audio. But uh, don't worry, there will still be some Bed Wars content 
that we will uh, be about to get into which is actually where I tested my microphone audio and uh, lis I'm listening to it back and it sounds pretty good uh, let me know what you think but um, yeah no more wasting time uh, without further ado let's get straight into the Bed Wars content I don't like that there's a Zyve skin in my lobby this doesn't seem good okay so this is the blue yeti test while playing some bed wars so unfortunately i cannot hear myself being played back right now if i could i would have to connect it to my computer so that i can hear game sounds while hearing my blue yeti microphone uh... there is a problem with that however and that problem is that if i hear my blue yeti microphone while hearing game sounds, um, my audio will like echo, so that means that uh, that's not good, basically. So I just kind of have to wing it, and hopefully I don't screw up the uh, talking and whatever, and I don't write people's ears with the Blue Yeti microphone. Hopefully it won't happen, but who knows, because I cannot really hear myself right now. I conducted a couple tests before, but I'm hoping that this works for me. The reason why I have it so close to my mouth is because if I have it a bit further away, it'll either not pick up the audio the way I want it to, or uh, it will obstruct my vision from the game, which is not ideal when you want to win some games of Bed Wars. And you want to see what you have, you know? Like, like you have to be able to see the entire screen to win a game of Bed Wars, you know what I'm saying? So that's how uh, it's going to work, and I don't know, I just hope that I'm not, I'm not being too loud, but I guess we'll only see when I listen to this uh, recording played back. Green's being uh, very, very passive, he's not uh, gone from my bed yet. He has not defended his bed. He's not even in the game. I should have just gone and gotten his bed. I want to go get a free bed from him. So that I can, uh... Oh, that sucks. Block clutch. Didn't work. It's fine. Man, that sucks. So if you hear a little bit of breathing, I'm sorry, but it's kind of unavoidable. The Yeti picks up like everything, except for like a person's voice. So <laughs> if I'm a bit further away, it might not pick up my voice. But, like, if I bang the desk like this, it's pretty loud, isn't it? So, like, if I breathe, like, or if I, I accidentally smack my lips or something, like, it's going to pick up everything. Which kind of sucks. But, uh, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, it's already such a good microphone. I don't really uh, ask for much. I think it's a big improvement and I'm quite happy with it actually still so if you hear a bit of breathing from me I'm sorry I can try to improve it but I also want to be able to do this without obstructing my vision so it's going to be a bit of a task but I think we can try let's go rush white base Uh oh, my game just... Uh, uh, so even though I am using a Blue Yeti microphone, I am still also using my Potato PC, aka my Acer laptop, 
which is not really uh, ideal. It's not great uh, for gaming, but I think this is the best we can get it to. I think I will get a, a professional gaming PC in the future, but uh, for right now, I think uh, it's more important to have good audio than good video uh, from uh, where I'm coming from anyway, because I, I plan to do more than just uh, like Bed Wars videos. And that will require some better audio, so uh, right now, this is kind of the ideal situation. Okay. He fell. Okay, that's good. My OCD is kicking in. Fireballs are very useful. Oh no. Fast iron maps. I cannot build up. I think it's because these are like furnaces. So I need to... um. I need to shift if I wanna build on them. But look at that, it's beautiful. So it looks like red team falls into the void a lot. No biggie. Ooh, that was close. So I wouldn't know if I'm talking too loud or too soft into this microphone because I cannot hear myself right now. I think we just need to worry about red right now. So I know red's gonna be going for my base. But he should be like all the way across the map for me. Because where I come from. Red has to go to... Uh blue base, then go to green base, then go to my base. Okay, actually that's a lot closer than I, I would have liked it to be. And I'm not very confident with my defense. Like it's end stone and wool, and if he has an upgraded axe, I think he can get it really quickly. I don't trust myself to be responsible, so I'm gonna buy diamond armor. I know it sounds like a pussy move, but I'm not very good at this game, so I think it's the only move for me. Uh, if he has a bridge through mid, he can mid rush me like that. Yeah. That was uh, to intimidate him. Come on, please. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I'm not confident. I'm not ready to die. I think I'll just pick up a few more diamonds and then we can go fight him. I think I can get about a uh, prop 3 diamond. So he has a bridge to middle, which means that he can just mid rush me easy. It's not the ideal situation though. I don't want to put myself in that kind of situation where he can just rush me that easy. Because that means that. Uh, he can get to my base a lot quicker than uh, I would like him to. I 
I'm just gonna move the mic a little bit. Okay. I'm so paranoid. He and I are like the last ones in the game, which means that he's gonna be up for, uh... <gasps> that was like... That was insane. My block clutch is just very pog. If he fireballs me, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, it didn't happen. He's got to be making his way over right now. Pro 3 diamond, that's easy. of his stupid red wool. He's right there. God. He just went invis. He just went invis, right? He's gonna knock me off, I swear. He's probably gone for my bed already. I think my bed's dead. Just went in this on me and just hopefully it doesn't void. This bed is all the way on that side. fully prepared for whatever he's got. Twenty one gapples. I probably should have bought some TNTs with that. But what are you gonna do, you know? potion knock back sticked off the map what a Is she there oh this is his base I didn't even realize it was his base. Oh, he's probably like somewhere near my base right now. GG <laughs> so, 
That was so mean. <laughs> that was so cruel. <laughs> I'm gonna friend the guy. Alright guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, Blue Yeti unboxing and Bed Wars uh, mic testing video. Um, hopefully the audio is good. I will try and find a way to not have it so up close and personal. Uh, but this is the best we can get it to now. Uh, hopefully uh, the audio will just be so much better. Uh, from now until forever with this new blue yeti and um, Very grateful for it. Hopefully you and like it as well and uh, That uh, there'll be many more good videos to come out of this uh, um, So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video